In this video we're going to be casting resin in these silicon moulds. I'm going to be using Mouldcraft A3000 fast cast resin. The reason I've chosen this resin is because it's a fast curing resin, meaning that we should be able to remove it from the moulds in about 40 minutes. However, this means it's got a pot life of only approximately 8 minutes, so once it's mixed I'll have to work quickly. One of the advantages is that it's a 50-50 mix by weight, not volume. One of the liquids is slightly more dense than the other. Being a 50-50 mix means it's much more forgiving when mixing small amounts than the ones where you have to measure out exactly 2% of the catalyst, for example. It's also virtually order free. Some resins are pretty smelly. I got this from eBay for around about £20. It's a litre kit and I think it's good value for money for the amount of casts I should be able to make. It is a chemical and precautions should be taken, so wear safety goggles and protective clothing such as latex gloves. You're going to need your resin, moulds, a set of scales, kitchen scales will do, a disposable cup to mix the resin in, and something to mix it with, like a lolly stick. To start with, it's a good idea to cover your scales with a piece of cling film in case of any spills. Put on your protective gloves, Place the mixing cup on the scales and switch them on. Make sure the scales are zeroed. I'm adding 30 grams of part A. It's actually gone over to 32 grams. So I zero the scales again and try to make sure I add 32 grams of part B. It's a good idea to wipe the bottles of any runs. I'm stirring quite gently to avoid whipping in any air. I don't want bubbles in the resin. But I need to stir it enough so that part A and part B are thoroughly mixed together. I'm pouring straight into the silicon moulds. I haven't used any release agent in the moulds as it's not really needed with silicon moulds when using resin. I'm pouring slowly and steadily so as to avoid trapping in any air. The resin has quite a thin consistency so it flows easily into all the details. It's also very easy to overfill the moulds. Keep your eye on the angel wings. The amount I have mixed has gone a long way, so working out how much you need will only come with experience. I'm going to leave these now for 40 minutes or so. A little over an hour has elapsed, and I'm now going to demould these. I'm going to be very careful when demoulding these. As you can see, the resin picks up the detail really well. I did slightly overfill the wings, but they should clean up ok using a craft knife. I have to be careful with these moulds, as the resin doesn't want to release easily from the keyholes. Out of all the casting methods, this is the one I prefer. It's much less messy than I expected, and the results are pretty quick. Some of the moulds are quite intricate, and again I've overfilled these, but they should be easy enough to clean up. This resin cures to an off-white colour, but it does take paint very well. So to sum up, this resin is much easier to use than I expected, with no smells or real mess. It's quite a bit more expensive than other methods such as using plaster of Paris or even the resin plaster. However, there's very little wastage 
and I think the quality of the casts are very good. The only downside that I can see is that this resin only has a shelf life of 6 months, so it's wise only to buy as much as you will use in that time. I hope you found this video interesting, if you have, please hit the like button, and also check out my other videos, I'll put links at the end of the video to some. Thanks for watching.